everyone welcome to my virtual class i am mom jay and i'm your teacher for today happy learning ang lesson natin para sa araw na ito ay translating phrases to mathematical expressions. So, bakit natin kailangan itong pag-aralan? So, kailangan natin itong pag-aralan para maging familiar kayo kung paano nyo matatranslate ang isang phrase into a mathematical expressions. At nang sa ganun, may apply nyo rin ito sa problem solving. So, i-discuss natin yung mga keywords para sa mga operations. Para maging aware kayo na ito palang keywords na to ay para kay addition, kay subtraction, multiplication, division, yan. Isa-isayin natin. So, let's start with the keywords for addition. So, ito po yung kanyang symbol. So, pag may mga na-encounter po kayong ganitong mga words, sabihin, addition po siya. So, yan. Sum plus Total and together, additional, added to, combined with, more than, increased by. Yan. So, keywords for subtraction. So, subtraction naman po tayo. So, this is the symbol for subtraction. So, minus, reduce, difference, left. Change, less, fewer, decrease by, less than, take away, subtract from, how much less, and how much left. Yan, for subtraction yan. Keywords for multiplications. So, multiplication naman ang um, pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. So, this will be the symbol for multiplication. We will not going to use the x because it indicates a variable. So, yan na lang po, asterisk, o kaya naman, open and close parentheses. And so, product, times, twice, doubled, tripled, per, of, multiplied by, m. Keywords for division. So, ito naman po yung symbol na division. O kaya yan. Or pwede yung pa, uh, line, yung para sa fraction. Yan. So, ratio, quotient, average, over, into, half of, a third of, split evenly, share equally, Divided by. Ayan. So, yun yung mga keywords for the four operations. So, meron pang ibang keywords para sa ibang mga um, terminologies sa mathematics. So, keywords for equals. Ayan. So, yun po yung symbol ng equal. Equal sign. So, is, are, was, were, will be, gives, Yields, sold for, cost. Yan. So, keywords for exponent. So, ang symbol ng exponent, siya yung maliit na number na nandun sa taas ng base, di ba? So, cube of, power, square of, raised to. Yan. Yan po yung mga keywords for exponent. So, may mga keywords na kung saan, um, minsan na pag uh, papalit natin yung dalawang quantity. So, switch the order of the terms. So, kapag ang terms natin ay less than, so, alam natin na yun ay subtraction. Tama po. And, pag more than, addition. So, pag less than, the first number subtracted from the second. So, ibig sabihin, dun sa ating statement, yung unang number or yung unang uh, tinutukoy dun, isusubtract natin dun sa second. So, magbabaliktad siya. Okay? Mamaya, ibigyan natin siya ng example para mas maitindihan nyo. So, the first, so, pag more than naman, ganun din. So, the first number added to the second. So, ayan. 
So, translate each verbal phrase into an algebraic expression. So, mag-example na tayo. So, number one, the total of b and 5 is raised to the 6th power. So, isa-isahin natin yung mga keywords para malaman natin kung anong operation symbol or paano natin siya maitatranslate into algebraic expression or mathematical expression. So, meron tayong keywords dito, keyword na total. So, pag total, alam natin na yun ay addition. So, ang symbol niya yung cross. Ayan. Of B and 5. So, i-add lang natin si B tsaka si 5. So, we have B, then 5. Is raised to the 6th power. So, we're, meron ulit tayong uh, keyword, which is raised. Di ba pag sinabing raise or raise to ay exponent. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng quantity dito sa ating uh, b plus 5. And then, i-raise lang natin siya sa 6 power. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng exponent uh, na number 6. Ayan. So, yun yung algebraic expression for number 1. Let's have number 2. 1 added to the quotient of the cube of r and 7. So, isa-isay natin ulit. So, we have the keyword added. So, addition ulit yan. So, 1. To the quotient. So, quotient, division. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng line. Ayan. Of the cube of R. So, meron tayong cube. So, meaning exponent siya ulit. So, cube of R. So, R raised to 3. Ayan. And 7. Ayan. So, the quotient of the cube of R and 7. So, yan po yung sagot natin for number 2. Number 3. 5 divides the total of 6 times W and 1. So, hindi natin pwedeng ilagay si 5 sa taas kasi ang, sense, ang statement natin ay 5 divides the total of 6 times W and 1. So, magiging ganito siya. So, pag divides, divide, quotient yan. Pero, baka mailagay nyo sa numerator si 5, hindi po siya sa numerator. Sa denominator natin siya ilalagay. Kasi divides yung words natin. Hindi naman divided. So, the total of 6 times W and 1. So, mayroon tayong word na total. So, meaning addition. And then, 6 times W. So, may multiplication dyan. Yan. And 1. So, ayan. So, ayan po siya. Okay, naintindihan nyo ba? So, number 4. Subtract the cube of E from 4 ninths. So, isubtract daw natin yung cube of, ng E from, so mula, 4 ninths. So, hindi pwedeng mauna si cube of E. Kailangan mauna si 4 ninths. Kasi, cube of E from 4 ninths. Subtract the cube of E from 4 ninths. So, ang keywords natin dito ay subtract, so minus yun. Pero hindi siya pwedeng erase to 3. Kasi from eh. So, ibig sabihin dapat mauna si 4 over, si 4 9, si 4 over 9. So, my cube of E. Yan. Yan. So, yan po siya. So, may mga keywords na akala natin kung ano yung nauna sa statement, eh yun na yung mauuna para natin. Hindi po. I-analyze natin ng mabuti yung ating appraise. Uh, so, dahil may word tayo from, sabihin mo, una si 4 nines bago si cube of E. Yan. So, yun po yung sagot sa number 4. We have number 5. Half of D minus 2 fifths. So, half of D. So, pag sinabing half, division. So, half of D. Yan. So, kalahati daw ni D. Minus. So, dahil minus. So, subtraction, 2 fifths. So, din, uh, fraction yun, 2 fifths. Yan. Number 6. Total of 4 times the trice of S minus T and 16. So, total of 4. Total of 4 times the trice of S. So, times. So, the times natin multiplication. The trice of S. So, trice of S is 3S. Yan. Minus T, yan, and 16. Yan. So, yan po yung kanyang algebraic expressions. So, total of 4 times the trice of S minus T and 16. 
Number 7. 9 times D more than 1 third of C. So, meron tayong word dito na more than. Times. So, ang times ay multiplications. So, dahil more than, so, hindi pwedeng mauna si 9. 9 times D. Kailangan mauna si 1 third of C. ba? So, 9 D more than, so, plus 1 third of C. Ayan. 1 third of C. Or, pwede siyang ganito. Ayan. So, baka kasi maunahan nyo na naman si 9D bago si, ano, D. Kailangan si 1 third of C muna bago si 9D. Kasi may, ang word natin dito ay more than. Okay? So, number 8. Ratio of B and C to 3 is reduced by 25. So, ratio is division. So, B divided by uh, BC divided by 3 is reduced. So, reduced by, so minus yon subtraction, 25. Ayan. So, ratio of B and C to 3 is reduced by 25. Number 9. Sum of X and 3 gives 5. So, sum, so addition ulit. So, X and 3. So, X plus 3 gives. So, may word time gives. Ibig sabihin equals yan. Which is equals to 5. And number 10, the ratio of cube of x to 2 is same as 4. So, the ratio, so division ulit, cube of x, so exponent. Ang exponent x dito ay 3. So, x raised to 3, to 2, so divide by 2, is same as 4. So, may word tayo ng same. So, equal sign, which is equals to 4. Ayan. So, yan yung sagot natin for number 10. So, sana naiintindihan nyo yung lesson natin for today. Pero, itry nyo nga ito kung kaya nyo sagutan. So, try it now. So, translate each verbal phrase into an algebraic expressions. So, dahil familiar na kayo sa mga keywords, so, alam nyo na kung paano ito i-translate into a mathematical expression. Ayan, sana po may natutunan kayo sa araw na ito. Yun lamang po. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.